Hello guys, and welcome to the second of the three episodes uh, with the mighty, the, excuse me, the mighty mysterious tins. So in this case, we'll be uh, doing the Snorlax one. Okay, I'm gonna jump right in, followed by another uh, building battle kit. Oh, that was not easy. Okay, so the um, quick side note for those here in New York, um, because we, at least I've never seen a Hobby Lobby anywhere in New York City, because I did mention that I saw these on sale at Hobby Lobby online. Um, so the only place where I've ever found tins like this, and what I mean by this is that tins that only have three packs, but they have this shape, are places like uh, Walgreens, if you're lucky, uh, Dwayne Reed, um, and what's the other store? Um, oh, Rite Aid. There you go. I almost forgot. There. So those those three, I would say, uh, definitely Walgreens. I've seen these for sure, or at least this type of tin. And uh, there is your awesome Snorlax card. All right. So. If, uh, if parents, if you're interested, I would definitely go that route and uh, check those out. Here is your code for the tin. We have a Brilliant Stars. Maybe the same three packs. Let's see if we get lucky. Fusion Strike. And yes, we do. And Evolving Skies. Cool. Yeah, honestly, not bad for the fact that you get the Evolving Skies. And again, it's all about... I mean, let's, let's, I'll be real blunt with you guys. It's technically a legal form of gambling because you buy it and you're not guaranteed anything in these packs. You might hit the jackpot. You might not. So it, it's literally like gambling and therefore you take a risk when you do it. And I personally would say that the risk is worth it because most of the times, and I do say most and not every time. A lot of this stuff appreciates in value, but it really depends on the condition, you know, how it's kept, uh, even the condition of the boxes, because that really matters a lot, too, to some personal collectors. And quality is everything. All right. So no go on the first pack there, which was our Brilliant Stars. Next, we will do the Fusion Strike. There is your code. One, two, three, four. All right. Schoolboy, Lapras, Halucha, Darumaka, Pancham, Wulu, Pansage, Klefki, Baltoy, and Gorbis. <clears throat> See what we can get. Two, three, four. Let's see. Hopefully, we don't strike out. Okay. Tentacruel, Palpitoad, Shopping Center, Scraggy, Hippopotas, Temple, Litleo, Eevee, Bergmite, and a Vaporeon VMAX. Now, we definitely pulled this uh, not too long ago. And again, I don't think it's worth too much, but I think it does help us with maybe around half of the tin cost. Uh, card number 30. And uh, I'm happy here because it's a full art, so it should be worth a little something. And it is Evolving Skies, which was pretty much about the eons. Um, so hopefully... We made good there. Now, here's where things turn a little sour. Because the build and battle kit I chose this time around uh, is, again, the Palia Evolved. And we have been striking out with this one far too often. This was a horrible case. Either I have really bad luck or I'm going to go ahead and say that this particular case I bought was... Um, 
maybe weighed or seated in a certain way. Something is fishy here. I've never had, oops, sorry about that. Technical difficulties as I'm trying to open this. Uh, I uh, never had this much bad luck with uh, a building battle kit. See, even, even so much that the plastic is becoming a problem here. This thing does not want to come off. There we go. I'm trying not to like break the box either because I actually do give the box to uh, my students. Let me uh, fix this right here. Okay. I do give the box to my kids. Uh, so. Put that over there. There. Murkrow is our uh, pre-release card, by the way. Put that over there. And let's go for Palvia Evolved. Now, the reason why I'm a little suspicious, if you want to know about this particular um, build and battle kit case, this was the only one that I ordered that did not come in its original sealed factory case. And that, to me, was a red flag. Because every other time that I've bought um, a case of build and battle kits, they the the vendor will normally ship them in um, in its actual case. Uh, so, for example, let's see which ones I have: Fusion Strike, Chilling Rain. Uh, I just got the Astral Radiance. Uh, I have the uh, Silver Tempest, Lost Origin. All those came in their cases. This, the Paldia one was the only one that did not. And therefore, uh, just for further reference, and parents, I want you to hear this too, is that I bought this one, the case for these guys, um, on Amazon. Versus all the others were from other uh, actual vendor websites. So, personally, I guess I would stay away from Amazon then. Uh, let's see how this kit turns out. But... So far, it's not looking good. Just so you guys know, I bought this one on Amazon, and when they shipped them, they did not ship them in the case. It's It was all 10 kits uh, loose, uh, individually wrapped, but loose in a just a brown box. So just for future reference, guys, all right? And there we go. So far, <laughs> it's not looking good, but let's see. Let's see. Let's hope for the best. Cross your fingers, guys. There you go. Okay. Jigglypuff, Tad Bulb, Giraffe Rig, Great Ball, Practice Studio, Florigato, Quaxwell, Mascif, Bramblin, and Veluzo. Please do excuse the noise outside, by the way. There is uh, construction work going on, and that's unavoidable, and that looks like it's going to be around a while. So I'm not going to stop recording for the channel just because it's going on. So but apologies in advance, and I'll probably be apologizing for many more episodes down the line because there'll just be a lot of noise going on. All right, so last pack. And so far, not looking good again. And we're set to have another strikeout with this building battle kit. And I, I want to say I doubt, I really doubt that it's the pull rates. Because I'm pretty sure I we opened up a Paldi Evolve booster box. And we did decent there. So I can't blame the set. I'm blaming, see, I'm blaming the building battle kit. Uh, the, the, just the way it was shipped. I don't trust it. Um, so, just learn from me, guys. Either way, just to recap, we did get the awesome Full Art Reporium VMAX from the Evolving Skies pack from the tin. So, like I said, I'm hoping for around half value there. I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. 
and I'll see you guys next time.